This weekly has a ton of faint synergy, basically every token pet in the game. There really is no shortage of potential this weekly. Of course, we have to kick it off with some Praying Mantis shenanigans, because Praying Mantis and Shark, two of the strongest pet combos in the game, is going to be a good time. Hope you enjoy. It's just not doing today. This is a good start, at least. We got something going here. Uh, I'm actually going to combine you guys so we can get an opossum here. We get a level on our ant. We get half a level on our otter. This seems like a good start. I don't actually know if I love the otter, though, to be honest. Okay, that's fine. That's not fun. <laughs> I guess it's fun. Um, because we're gonna sell a bunch of these, right? We're not looking to keep everybody. Maybe the otter isn't actually the play. Maybe we go skeleton dog. But like, who do we buff with the skeleton dog? We're, in the, we're having the same issue, you know? I don't know if that's really the vibe either. Maybe we go... Okay, swan we can definitely keep. I think swan is fantastic. We get a level here. African penguin is kind of just a better version of beaver. If you're looking at it in a vacuum. Okay, so we're going to get a level next turn. Hopefully we can do something with that. This is looking like a solid start here. Um, I would have loved a Deer Lord. Sometimes it's just not meant to be, though. Let's go here. Ditch the Marmoset. We can buy, sell some homies. Roll me. Maybe just throw in a beluga here. Call it a day. Wand me, sure. Um, maybe we should have kept that that pill. There's an argument there for, for keeping pill there. Okay, looking great. I'm loving this so far. Like, do we want, even want to keep Beluga? I don't think so. Doesn't really seem like the vibe here. Ooh, this is the vibe, though. Um, tell you what, let's do this. Hold on to our crow. We can pill the bed of fish next turn. And then do something with it, I don't know. I haven't gotten that far yet. Unfortunate ant hit there. I think we're okay though. We are in fact okay. I mean, it's going well so far. Can't deny that. Let's go here. Um, we can throw in a praying mantis. Maybe we all in on this whole like faint synergy thing, you know? Do something like this. That seems crazy, but maybe that's the kind of crazy we need. You know, like what if we do this? Hopefully the ant doesn't hit the African penguin. If it does, so be it. But then we can get a shark and then we're getting two triggers every single turn. And I mean, we that's gotta be strong, right? Surely that's pretty good. You got to imagine. You know, this anteater should summon two level three ants now. Oh, baby. Um, so one hit the African penguin. That's probably about to be expected. Roughly speaking. So let's go here. Throw you in, and honestly, hold on, buy sell here. That's not too bad, hold on. What if we do this? We're not like that. The ant might hit the other ant. We got a one in three of losing out on a three three. But I love the idea of getting the blobfish here. I think it's worth it. We'll see. <laughs> It'll be worth it until it doesn't work and then I'll be sad. 
But until that day, oh, it's gonna be so worth it. He's got a little buy sell. I like it. Okay, don't hit you. Beautiful. Love to see that. Okay. <laughs> Baby. You can't make this up. Okay. This has got to be the best build ever, right? We can all agree. This just looks fantastic. Roll me. Yeah, obviously we don't love Chimera here. Maybe we rock a betta fish. And hold on to Praying Mantis for next turn. And we don't have to like full send this this radical two faint every turn vibe. But I mean, he's pretty good with the shark. Let's be real. Okay. And we draw. That was exactly draw. It was a 10-6 versus a 6-10 at the end there. That's crazy. Okay. Beautiful. I mean, this is just incredible. If we can keep up this pace with the Praying Mantis, we're golden. It's just going to be so strong. Um, I'm fine rolling here a couple of times. That's just good. Roll me. We can actually do this, see if we get anything good. Oh, baby. Um, yeah, obviously you don't want to kill a shark here. But I think we do this. The, the gold level is a bit unfortunate, I have to admit. But I mean, it's a basically a free shark experience, right? Okay, um, let's see. No need for the alpaca, really. Not immediately, at least. Um, we definitely don't need pills. We can just throw in a blobfish next to our praying mantis. Okay. Yeah, I think this looks good. We're not going to get a whole lot of shark triggers in battle here, so I'm fine putting it like this. So that we get a level 2 shark next turn. Gotta greet it a little bit. We have enough health. This is an incredible setup already. Why not greet it? And we actually win. <laughs> Sometimes greeting gets you there. Sometimes it just works. And you don't question it. Okay. Now at this point, we could go for a dragon. However... I kind of like this idea better. <laughs> I'm full greed mode if you haven't realized. I don't know why I put the blobfish down first either. Um, that was a bit of a, an oopsie. We're not like this. Excalibur or Holy Grail. We get one one per turn or we can just get eight health at some point. The eight, 8 health seems better, I think. Feel free to argue, but I think it, it's good here. And I love the Praying Mantis that you can use Blobfish on other pets. This is the one thing I don't like as much with the Deer Lord. You know, you have to use... You have to use it every time on the Deer Lord, because it only paints the pet in front of it. Praying Mantis has so many other options. And this is just incredible value. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I think this could be a Nessie angle. I'm just gonna throw it out there. This feels like a Nessie angle to me. We go here. Um, let's do... If I sell you... Let's see what we get from here. Another questing beast. I honestly think we just use it as a feint here. Yeah, let's do that. We can keep some Nessie action going. Importantly, we have to remember we can't 
faint Nessie with the Praying Mantis because we're not going to have rolled yet that turn. So let's make sure we have a pill ready for him as well. Um, let's see. None of that is necessary. Yeah, I think this is good. I mean, obviously the 1-1 one, one in front isn't going to do much for us, but it's another feint. It's an extra 6-6 six, six on our shark. This just... This is going to be fantastic. Okay. And we're good. Yeah, they don't have, like, anybody in back there. This is, like, the OG. I remember making a video on Praying Mantis Shark, like, a long time ago. Oh, baby. And this is just that on steroids <laughs> at this point. It's just so good. Okay, let's go here. Throw in... I think we're gonna get a... We're gonna get a pill, right? <laughs> Surely. Surely we'll get a pill here. There we go. Hang on to you. Um, hold on to you as well, actually. Because we would rather do it like this. Okay. This is good. So Shark is going to be 50-50 next turn. That's huge. Okay. Weird dolphin vibe going on here. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be doing. But <laughs> that's alright. Okay, looking good. Do we want any of these? Hydra Dolphin Snapping Turtle Deer Lord? <laughs> Gross. No thank you. Um, don't need a swan, we're already gonna get the blobfish scaling here. Let's just look for some pills. I think that's our, our only goal right now. Come on. Come on. This is my biggest worry. Is we're gonna get to this point and then just have nothing. And then it's just gonna be sad. We really should be side stacking sharks at this point. <laughs> you know, like it would be very good. Okay, perfect. I mean, I'm fine running this. Get a little. Holy Grail going. We're focusing on the Nessie here. We don't need to do Excalibur or anything. What do we got? Something good? We gotta find this pill. I don't know where it's hiding. We got one more roll. Unfortunate. Just kidding, we have one extra roll. Okay. Run it like this. <laughs> we can get another shark if we want it. No, I mean, we're definitely going to outscale here. Okay. Let's just set it like this. Maybe we'll draw. It's always the, the one item that you're missing, you know? Oh, we're definitely not going to draw. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> um, almost, I guess. It was kind of close. You know, all we needed was the pill. And then we were going to be smooth sailing. We upgrade the cap to 12 wins, and then we'd be cooking. We're going to get there. We're going to get this Nessie achievement. It's going to happen. And I like this as the basis. Because this is effectively... If we get two sharks and a praying mantis... You're basically three squatting. You get three 50-50s. And then you get a little play with getting getting the other guys scaled up. Works out well. Okay. Hold on to the mouse. Maybe we get here. Perplexed failures. Accurate. <laughs> Accurate. As long as we don't lose, we greed. Get a chinchilla up in here. This seems... 
it's almost guaranteed loss, but... Mm. We actually could have won that, I think. The ants hit a little different. I think we would have had it. But honestly, who cares? Don't matter. The swan cooking up here. Oh, baby. Straight up. Running like this. Just get a little extra gold cooking here. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Ooh, never mind. <laughs> I don't like it anymore. Alright, we go here. Um, let's try a betta fish here. And, I mean, we could apple, but I think we just roll. Yeah, try to get some pills going. You know how it is. Mouse with the shrimp ain't too bad. A swan cooking. Yes, sir. The heck is this guy running? No way that works. <laughs> There's no shot. Okay. Start me with a level. Give me a good tier four, please. Can't say that's a great tier four. But maybe it's not too bad. We could throw in a tar. I mean, I'd love the Cyclops, but it just doesn't have a play right now. Doesn't really fit in our vibe yet. I think we do like this. Okay. Oh, perfect lethal, that hurts. But we're good. We also turn back with the perfect lethal. Okay, we go here. Get rid of the tar for a second. Ooh, let's do this. I mean, we're just hard stacking shrimp right now. That's all we're going for at this point. That's all we need to go for, really. We got the chili. We can afford to. Let's go here. Hold on to the golden beetle. Basically just a pig. Running like this. Holy moly. <laughs> Jeez, this dude legit ran a two squad. This guy's insane. Okay, roll me. Dude, with the praying mantis, this is hard to pass up. You know, do we ditch the ant here? Run a praying mantis build. Let's try it. This could be a terrible move. Or it could be amazing. <laughs> I mean, we've got such a quick scaling on this shrimp. The praying mantis is going to surpass that ant in no time. We go here, and then let's just... Let's get rid of this otter. Yeah, no, that seems okay. Can't help but feel like our swan is being neglected a little bit. Is that just me? <laughs> no, no, no. It's all wrong. Okay. Slug is tempting. I don't think we do it. We're not like this. I think this is good. Oh, I guess by the time he eats the Nightcrawler, he's not actually going to have anything to... Like, we won't have summoned anything yet, I guess. So he's not actually going to summon. Well, 
<laughs> the more you know. Okay. I mean, a cow is pretty good. I'd love to do a cow with the banana, but it doesn't really work out that way, does it? Ooh, sure, sure. We could get the banana. Maybe that's worth doing. You know, ignore the praying mantis level up for a second in, in order to get a monkey. And then we can kind of pair off from the shrimp a little bit. I think that'll help us out a lot. You know, we've already got a lot of attack, or a lot of health here. Which normally is the tough part. Dude, this hurts. <laughs> this hurts. It is not fun to watch. Tell you that much. Okay, let's go. How do we want to do this? Um, I mean, it doesn't hurt to combine at this point. It doesn't really affect our rates all that much. Go here. We've already got the health, otherwise I'd go questing beast. I think we just throw an oyster in here. And then, yeah, I think we're ditching the shrimp next turn in all likelihood. I mean, it's looking pretty good. I feel like we're in a good spot here. It's a little dicey, but I think our team has potential. Ooh, speaking of. Here to you. Buy, sell you, and then we go chocolate. What do you got for us? Not a whole lot. I don't think it's really worth investing in. Though it does help out with our bird of paradise, so maybe it, maybe it is. It's three gold and we get two gold back. That's pretty good. I might even end up running a phoenix here. I don't know. We'd have to ditch our bird of paradise. Which I'm not too keen on. Okay. Let's just give you a little bit of porridge, I think. Okay, I'm gonna like this. Looking good. Can we handle this shark? That's the question. No. <laughs> shark is just too good. It is way too strong. We go here. Um, let's see. Grab you. Do something a little crazy here. Because you're giving 6-6, six, six, you're giving 4-6. I'd rather have the money here. I think we go monkey. We can set it up kind of like this, I think. Monkey gets one last good hit on the swan. And then we call it. Ooh, blobfish ain't bad. For the praying mantis here. Avocado is great for the bird of paradise. Chili's just going hard here. A little less hard on those guys, but still going hard. Fantastic. Okay. Ooh, double avocado. Don't mind if I do. Um, let's go here. See, we need five. So 
we kind of have to buy sell, but we kind of can't buy sell. <laughs> it's kind of a weird situation here. I think we just run it like this. We just don't get the last bird of paradise trigger. There was probably a better way to do that, admittedly. But here we are. I think this is the best way to set it up right now. Okay, getting some triggers, that's big. And we're good, we get the draw. Dude, these sharks are menacing, I'll tell you that much. Okay, no bird of paradise here. That's all right. Now let's go... Maybe get you some milk. You need some milk. Can we get him level three? That's the question. Um, not right now. <laughs> I think it's better we just do this. Piranha, no thank you. Um, let's see, do we want a tar? Anybody? Could throw it on you, maybe. No need for a waffle. I mean, this team's looking pretty thick. Not gonna lie. <laughs> it's looking pretty solid. The praying mantis is just so strong. He really is just a fantastic bet. And it's always the shark, I'm telling you, dude. These sharks are going crazy. They're just too good. Um, turtle is probably worth investing in. If I'm gonna be honest. Let's see if we can get this bird of paradise level 3. Not with the blobfish, though. Let's, let's try to get it this turn, maybe. <laughs> that would be nice. I mean, how do you say no to this? Roll me. Alright. So be it. Um, actually... I'd rather get 4-4 four, four than throw in an avocado, I think. Which means we'll just have to buy sell somebody. So we can roll one more time. Bro, ain't too bad. What do you got? Don't care. Do it like this. Here. And then we're gonna set it up like that. Hold the chocolate. Okay, so this is gonna be a little unconventional, perhaps, but... I have faith. I think it'll be good. I think we run it like this, though. Um, because we need the turtle and the mantis here, so that the turtle hits the mantis. Ooh. Beautiful. Breaks you. Okay, how well do we handle this? That's the question. Oh, very well, actually. <laughs> we actually get a win against the shark. Who would have thought? These are some of the longest games ever invented in the history of Super Auto Pets. Okay, here. Um, roll me. I was really hoping for a phoenix there, I'll tell you that. Um, let's see, I think we're just rolling here. We could have gotten the phoenix if he had one. If he's running these goofy shark build. That's just not going to cut it. Um, let's see. Okay, we can do it like this. We can still get our Phoenix. Let's just run. We gotta buy sell something. So we can buy sell anglerfish. We're too good for a shark. We don't need him. We don't need the shark here. Run it like this. We'll keep the shark for a little extra gold next turn. Just the one extra on the Bird of Paradise, in case it makes a difference. Okay, so we're really getting to this ultra late game here. I mean, this guy is just... what is he doing? 
He ran his Hydra way up at the front. So he just lost all of his summons. That's not gonna do it for you. Okay. Part of me is like, Bird of Paradise is basically done. So like, <laughs> what do we swap him with? Do we throw a shark in there? I don't know. There aren't a whole lot of good just like, toss in at the end pets here. Um, let's see. I mean, I think we naturally start with Oyster. See, does Shark ever scale up quick enough? Probably not. Let's see, so we can get... So if we get 6-6 six, six here, you'll be a 47-50. No, 47-49. That's basically 50-50, right? Maybe a squint. Okay, so we can afford to do this, and then we'll eat the, the chili, homie. I think that's gonna be the play. Because then we get some, some Bird of Paradise procs on our shark. I think that's important. I think that's a good thing. Okay. Maybe we can get the shark cooked up here. Baby. <laughs> this is going insane. Um, yeah, I guess we just do this. Maybe we throw some honey on you as a little like... I mean, there's no way it survives with the phoenix, right? <laughs> so maybe that doesn't do anything. I don't know. I'm not sure how to play this anymore. We got some weird territory we're in. Okay. I mean, this just wins, right? Shark can't handle all these homies. <laughs> We're outpacing the shark somehow. With another shark. Okay, so start here. That's free. Then we go here. Then we go here. Okay. And then we just go Piranha. Just to soak up the Praying Mantis. And I think this is it. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what else there is to do at this point. You know, if these guys can't handle it, I don't know what will. Okay, good hits. How do we do here? Dude, this is just, <laughs> this is something else. This weekly is insane. I mean, granted we're on turn 18, but like, they got some crazy ultra late games here. An interesting Mantis kind of setup here. I like Mantis more than Deer Lord, which I'm actually surprised by. I think Mantis is, is one of the best plays. It's just hard late game, right? Cause then you kind of end up three or four squatting. So you kind of have to win early. I don't know. It's a weird, weird vibe. Let me know what you think. What kind of builds are working for you? Because this is, this is tricky. If you made it this far, odds are you're enjoying the content. And I've got great news for you. There's plenty more where that came from. Check out these videos here that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one.